Hi guys, I'm Teacher Wong from Anything. Today we are going to do some creative drawing. I will draw a monster using a plastic bag. Yes, what would a monster plastic bag look like? Hmm. Here I share with you three steps to create a monster bag. First, we will set a theme. Then, we will expand your idea with my mapping. Finally, we will combine your idea inside out. You may ask, why choose a plastic bag as a source of inspiration? Do you know plastic bag can be a monster to our environment? Plastic are man-made, which means it does not occur naturally in nature. They are non-degradable, that means plastic does not break down easily and will be around for a long time, causing a lot of trouble to our wildlife. Imagine now, a plastic bag floating on the sea. It looked like a jellyfish and later eaten by a sea turtle, thinking that it's a jellyfish. Turtle cannot digest plastic. This plastic will get stuck in the sea turtle berry, eventually cause death to the sea turtle. Let's start with our step 1, set your team. We set team based on an idea. An idea come along from a direction or point of view. Our team today is plastic bag. It is based on the idea direction. Plastic are non-degradable and become a threat to the animal. So the step to set team are first, find the idea. Second, choose your idea's direction. The set team from your idea's point of view. For this is our basic process of setting teams. Now we set our team. Let's build up a mind map based on our team and expand our ideas using Think Expand tactic. Mind mapping is simple. You start with putting your keyword in the middle of the page. Then list up sub keyword related to the team. Next, draw and color doodle for each keyword. Now we have our mind map, but they are a bit messy. Let's categorize those ideas into a different sources like animal, place, and people. Here is an example of an organized mind map. You may ask why do the it because word plus picture plus color in a mind map can ignite your creativity. Next is the most exciting part. This is where your imagination can run wild. We call it thing combine. First, from the mind map you have created, pick a few keywords that inspire you the most. Then combine them inside out. You can mix and match their shape, color, function, characteristic, and many more you can think of. Now, imagine what your monster will look like with the mix and match you did. Would it be like this or like this? The outcome is limitless. It's up to your imagination and association thinking. In a simple word, how you combine, mix and match stuff together. Okay, that's all for today. I hope you enjoy the class and start making some cool and creative art to show us. You can visit our website to learn more about our creative program, subscribe and continue to join us for the next section. Remember, in creating art, the sky's the limit. Anything you can imagine, you can do it. Stay safe and bye-bye.